Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. So they asked the question, some people asked the question, how can I bring the Mashiach? Do I individually really have the power to bring the Mashiach that we've been waiting for for so long? It's in my hands to do that? And the answer is actually yes. Each and every one of us individually has the power to bring Mashiach if we push hard enough. Because we know that each and every one of us are made by Hashem Himself and have been put into this world against our will. Yes, we've been put into this world against our will by Hashem. But why does Hashem put us in this world against our will? To give us a gift, to give, to give us the opportunity to bring the divine light into the world, to make us partners with God. That is the most beautiful thing. Hashem gave us, created this world, and gave us free will, and gave us an evil inclination and challenges us. Why? To give us the ability to bring God into this world, to turn the darkness into light. And when we do that, we actually be, we become partners with God in creation. And we fulfill His true intention of this world. So with that being said, we have to realize that each and every one of us has incredible powers that God has given us. These powers may be hidden, and we just have to reveal them. I heard something very interesting that what someone said, what are the tzaddikim's dreams? Like, what are what do the tzaddikim think about? What do they pray for? What do they want? I heard something very interesting that the tzaddikim, their biggest desire is that we, each and every one of us, know our true potential. Know how much power we have in each and every one of us. That's what the tzaddikim are dreaming of, that we realize our potential. Because when we realize our potential, we realize that God is giving us an incredible amount of power to channel into the world, then we'll surely be able to take things to the next level. And there's a few steps to how to do this. The first thing is actually simple. It just takes it all. It's by realizing that it only takes one moment to just turn your attention to God and realize that I have the power. I remember, I spoke about this in the video, but it's very, very powerful. It says that the, the Lubavitcher Rebbe said, you know, people, if they have trouble connecting to God, they have trouble with their belief in God, let them first realize that God believes in them. And that is one of the most powerful statements I've ever heard, that we really have to focus. Of course, we have to believe in God. But we also have to remember that God believes in us. That God, no matter how much we doubt ourselves, God nevertheless never loses doubt, n never loses hope in us, never doubts us. When we realize that God believes in each and every one of us truly, and He loves us, and He He actually like He trusts that we're gonna do the right thing. He puts His faith in us. When we realize that, we'll surely we'll surely want to do better. We'll want to we'll want to make God happy. Because look, when somebody passes away they're, and they're in front of Hashem. There's no hiding, there's no lying, there's no deception. Hashem shows you the abilities you had and whether you capitalize on these opportunities or not. So let us not wait to be seating in, let us not wait to have to be in that position, to have to answer to God. Let us right now understand that we are still alive. While we're still alive, we can make God proud right now. We can turn the darkness into light immediately. All it takes is one second. We can do teshuva in one second just by wanting to fix our past and wanting to get closer to God. Immediately, we are destroying the darkness, not only just destroying the darkness, but turning into the light. And we are cleansing the entire world just by one moment of wanting to connect to God. Imagine when we spend many moments wanting to connect to God, how much true goodness we bring into the world. And then the next step is to spread the light with others, to channel this with other people. And that is why these projects that involve, you know, the tefillin project or tzedakah, getting more people to do Shabbos, all these things that involve not just you serving God, but you helping others serve God, that is truly taking this messianic mission, the mission of the days of Mashiach, this mission of bringing the Jewish Messiah the, the, the Mashiach ben David into the world that we've been prophesied in Isaiah and in Shmuel Hanavi prophesied. But we have to take it to the next level. Meaning this the, this messianic era that we're trying to usher in, that the Lubavitcher Rebbe gave us 
per, uh, direct um, directives of how to do it, the Lubavitcher Rebbe told us for this mission, this messianic mindset of 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 of, of the the Geula, the redemption times, the days of Mashiach. The Rebbe said there's two main objectives: one, speak about the coming of Mashiach, and two, spread the seven laws of Noah with the world. And as I always say in this comment section, is proof of this of this of this mission actualizing because I, you guys. All of you, whether righteous Jews or righteous Gentiles, you guys have been making me so proud in the comment section, not just in the comment section, each and every one of you. I'm very, very happy and you guys give me so much strength. So let us take this to the next level to bring the spreading of the Torah and mitzvahs and the seven laws of Noah with the world. How do we do this? How do we usher in the messianic era? Well, we have to take things to the next level by by, by just spreading with others because as you know, Torah, the Torah spreads like fire. When you do a good deed, automatically you will do another good deed. And when someone, God forbid, sins, it leads to another sin. So the more we increase in goodness, the more it's going to spread exponentially like a snowball, like a fire. And it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna expand, and, and and how much more so when we get others on board, because then they're doing good deeds, and then they're affecting the people around them, and it's also spreading and combining. So, so, so let's always try to push to do one extra good deed every moment, whenever we find ourselves serving God. Let's think how we can take things to greater heights. So, for this, I would ask if you could share this video because that will cause others to see this video. And if you could like and comment as well because as you know, YouTube works with a lot of algorithms. And that's the way that's the way YouTube works. So, if you comment and like and, and and you share with others it will cause this message to spread even more and you will channel even more divine light into the world and know that just by you watching this video right now you are channeling incredible divine light into the world because you are learning about Hashem and you are showing Hashem that you care about what he what he wants from us so share this video to take things to the next level and let us expand this mission to bring the days of Mashiach to 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 bring the redemption to br turn the darkness into light, to bring the resurrection of the dead, because we know that, unfortunately, we see suffering still until Mashiach comes. But we know that when Mashiach comes, Hashem will wipe all the tears off of our face, off of our faces. He will wipe away all the tears. He will comfort us and bring incredible joy to the world. The world will experience joy like never before in the days of Mashiach. It will be a physical joy that will be tangible and, and, and we'll, we'll be able to taste that joy. Maybe today. So let us all increase. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Share this message with others. Share this message. It doesn't have to be this video only. It could be also when you see somebody, try to share a nice word with them. By, by, by consciously involving Hashem in our lives, by, 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 by having this Mashiach goggles lens on the world, seeing how can I channel in divine light? I'm going to the store. How can I bring God into the world? Maybe if I see another person says hi, maybe, you know, say hi, how are you doing? God bless you. Give them a blessing. Or if I'm walking on the street and I see an old person, you know, needs help carrying a bag, offer it to carry them the bag. Or I see a poor person, give them charity. Whatever it may be, by looking at the world through this lens, how can I maximize and capitalize on bringing God into the world? Then automatically you will be a, a, a greater vessel for the divine light and Hashem will bless you. And don't worry, no matter a person say yes, but how can I bring them, Sheikh? I don't know how to learn this so well. I'm, I'm not, ta I, I have a disability in this area or that. Understand that Hashem made you the way He wanted to make you and you are perfect the way you are. You just have to use who you are to bring down even more divine light just by being aware of God and knowing that you, whoever you are, never compare yourself to others because it could be you doing one little thing in your eyes could be greater than the biggest tzaddik doing a big thing because it's all about according to you where you are at your level we can never compare ourselves to others because we don't know what one good deed that one person does that true effect it could be this guy's doing all this and that but this little simple person did a simple good deed but for him or her at their level it was in beyond infinite and it was what was needed to bring mashiach so when we realize that we see the Torah as, 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 as beyond infinite and we realize that just one deed brings the infinite godly light into the world, then how much more so we'll want to do many good deeds and get others to do good deeds and get, get others to get good, do good deeds and get others to get even more others to go, do good deeds. And then it will spread like a wave, like a fire, and we will ignite the sparks needed to bring the coming Mashiach. May today be the day. Please share this message with others. God bless you all.